Now we're going to light the fire, but before we do that, I want to talk to you about the fuel that you use, because that's really important. You're going to be putting food in this thing, and you don't want any horrible chemicals. You don't want wood that's been treated. Uh, you don't want scrap wood. You want kiln ride logs that are split to exactly the right size. And you know, we're, we're talking about this sort of thing, which is absolutely perfect. And you'll see later just how easily this gets going. This is kiln dried birch logs and they're absolutely beautiful. And one of the tricks of telling whether it's got the right moisture content is to knock them together. And if you get a nice ring like that, you know that you've got some wood that's going to burn. It's going to not flavor your food in any other way than the way you want it to. Right, there's any number of ways, of different ways of lighting a fire and we all have our own particular way, be it newspaper with, with kindling, be it boy, making a little Boy Scout pyramid. But this time, just for fun, I've built, I'm going to build a little Jenga type tower and then we'll put a, put a blowtorch to that and you'll see just how easily this, this stove lights and how well it draws. Right, I'm going to start building the fire now, so nice little... Uh, small little pieces first, a little bit of scraps of kindling to make sure it catches easily. Nice small bits here on top. There we go. Oh, and I'm going to use this uh, more so uh, blowtorch. There's a couple of uh, uh, fire lighters under there and wax covered wood shavings and so you needn't worry about any sort of chemicals, which is, as I said before, the last thing we want. And away we go, look at that. Yeah, as you can see, folks, this is really taken off. I mean, that's a few minutes since I, I lit it. And, you know, it's, you know, they say, yeah, now we're cooking with gas. Well, I've got news for you. This isn't gas. This is beautiful kiln dried birch logs. And it's gonna, once these are burned down to, to really nice coals, this is gonna be a beautiful thing to cook on. Well, look, uh, you, you want to know how much wood uh, you're going to need. And it's a question of judgment and experience, I'm afraid. If you're, obviously, if you're going to, to you know, cook something quickly, a few sausages and a couple of burgers, you're not going to need very much more than I've got in there already. Once that burned down, we'll have some nice hot coals. We'll put the grill on top and then we'll slap some burgers and some sausage on it. Nothing to it. But if you're going to be cooking a pizza, for example, and this is this stone plate underneath here is absolutely ideal for, for a pizza, you're going to get, have to get that really hot. And that's going to take a good 45 minutes, maybe an hour. So you're going to have to have enough wood in there to keep that going for that length of time. Uh, it's going beautifully now and I'm going to uh, let that burn down for a while, maybe add another log or two, and uh, I'm going to start preparing some food. 